Welcome back everybody to Hogwarts Mystery. I'm sorry it's been a little bit while of actually since I uh, played episode one. I wanted to get episode two out sooner, uh, but I just didn't have time. So we're back in episode two. Uh, we've just actually finished our first ever potions class uh, with Professor Snape here. I think we've got to go over to the Sly Slytherin common room or something. Uh, before I get into this, I want to mention two things. First of all, apparently I've read a review on this game. Lots of people are having issues with the energy, that the energy runs out in certain places and you get stuck. Comment down below if that's happened to you and hit the like button on this video if you want them to sort that out and stop making it kind of pay to win I guess or a big paywall apparently the game has uh, I haven't come across that yet obviously but we haven't played much so maybe we'll come against that today also secondly by the way if I look like I've got like see I've got loads of like black on me and stuff I was painting earlier today I was painting our fence black uh, and I've got loads of black on me so I'm not just trying to get dark or anything oh actually I did a DNA test and I didn't tell you guys uh, what ethnicity I am I'm actually 10 percent actually 12 percent um, African so, yeah, I'm 12% Africa. I'm 12% black. It's pretty cool. And it, it specifically said... I can't remember what country actually it said now. Oh, man, that's going to really annoy me. I'll find you. I'll find out for the next episode. But, yeah, I'm apparently 12% black. So, I'm going to go through my history and stuff and see how that happened. Uh, and where that kind of came from. Because that really made me interested uh, in my family's history. All right, here we go. Ben. You're master of, right? Yes, Ben. Yes. Who are you? Ben Cooper, I'm a first year like you. I just wanted to say thank you for standing up to Marula Snide. All right, someone's actually seen us and, and, and gone, yeah, you did well there. Who told you I did that? I was watching from the end of the corridor. Kind of creepy. I've been following her, so, kind of creepy again, so she can't sneak up on me. And if she sees me, I'll at least have a chance to run away. God, this guy is scared of this girl. Like, this girl obviously means business. She tormented me the entire way here on the Hogwarts Express. She kept threatening me and calling me a mudblood. Ooh, a dirty mudblood. That's such a horrible thing to say. I'm sorry, Ben. That's terrible. Uh, Marula is obsessed with being the best witch in our year. And she thinks she has to impose her will on us to prove it. I like how some things are bold for us to understand. I'm just glad someone was brave enough to stand up to her. I'm certainly not. It's a joke that I got put in Gryffindor. Oh, yo, this guy doesn't like Gryffindor. Everyone is afraid of something, Ben. Unfortunately, I'm afraid of everything. I come from a muggle family, so all this is new and scary to me. I know how you feel. I come from a wizard family, and this is hard for me too, but probably not as hard because I'm still a wizard, whereas he's a mudblood. So, uh, I'll try to help you wherever I can, Ben. Thanks, master. I'll see you around. I like that guy. All right, we've got a blonde hair friend. I don't think I have any blonde hair friends, even in real life. I don't think I know many people with blonde hair. Uh, so there's us chitter-chatting. I'm going to go, yeah, over here. Let's report to Felix and see what uh, what we have to do with Felix here. Where is Felix? Uh, okay. Oh, Hello. Ugh. You already lost Slytherin 10 house points. Oh, man. I... Whoa. No idea what that noise was. We're in fourth place now. What happened? It wasn't my fault. Yo, it, Felix, please. All right, I'm tapping it. What do you want me to do? Oh, wait. Tap on me? Oh, okay. I get it. Slytherin fourth. <laughs> Here's where you can keep track of the race for the house cup. At the end of the year, the house with the most house points gets the house cup. Pretty simple. Here's Slytherin. You're in fourth place. With four points. Oh, yo. Gryffindor's first. Damn. We get 100 gems? Oh, nice. Okay, so uh, we've got Gryffindor to beat at the moment. That's okay. We'll still win. I'm sorry, but who are you? And why are you talking to me about house points? Yeah, you tell him off. I'm your prefect, Felix Rosier. Look at that. I love the way that they put his dimples in as well. So he's really got that like sharp kind of face. It's a perfect job to keep order in the house and help first years like you with their problems. Considering what your brother did to Slytherin, his reputation, I should have kept a closer eye on you. It wasn't my fault. I'm so sorry or I'm not my brother. Um, I'm not my brother. <laughs> and what, Felix? Houseboy, whatever you said you are. I'm a prefect. I know my brother broke school rules, school rules and damaged Slytherin's reputation, but I want to be a credit to our house. We all make mistakes, master. Of course, we all don't make mistakes that cost Slytherin 10 house points. In any case, Professor Snape already sent you a letter directly to our common room. Why wouldn't he send it to me? Probably because he despises you. Really? Felix said that Snape hates everyone. So I wouldn't take it personally. Okay, but I would read that letter immediately. Of, I have discovered the evidence that your potion may have indeed be tampered with. 
While it does not prove your innocence, it does cast some doubt on my belief that you are hopelessly incompetent. Bring me a jar of pickled slugs from the potion storeroom and I will consider restoring your house points. Yo, Snape, I'm not just like a guy you can mess around with and tell him to go get slugs. Uh, I'll go get you the slugs. I want those house points back. There are directions to the potion storeroom at the bottom of the letter. Rowan, do you want me to go with you, master? It's the least I can do uh, since you saved me. You know what, Rowan? Uh, you haven't got your cool hat on that you got last time, so no, you're cool. Thanks, Rowan. I'll go alone. This is all on me. Well, be careful. I would hate to have Snape kill my only friend. Come on, bro. We're in school, bro. He's offering us to give back the 10 house points you lost. Hurry to the potion storeroom before he changes his mind. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's go, shall we? So we need to go and collect some slugs. All right. Let's make it our way to the potion. No, in, not now. Go away. All right, down the corridor to collect slugs. I can't see a thing. Actually, it's pretty dark. The door's shut behind me, and it seems to be locked. I'll cast the one lightning charm to help me see. Lumos! And just like that. Okay, he's a little bit s slow. Booyah, baby! Look at me, I like that swag. I'm like, yeah, Lumos. Um. Okay. What is that thing? A deadly plant called Devil's Snare. Some fourth year Slytherin showed it to me when I first arrived. Where is Marula? It senses it. Oh, what? She's outside. It's sensitive to light. If you're really better at the wand light lighting charm than me, escape should be no problem. Marula, you locked me in here. Dude, this girl. Along with sending you a fake letter from Snape. I told you things would get worse. Uh, something has to stop you from ruining Hogwarts. It may as well be Devil's Snare. Yo, this girl is a freaking mental case. She's sending us here using fake letters and trying to kill us. Ah! All right, well, Devil's Snare, no problem for my Lumos Maxima. Oh, shoot. Yo, come on, Ov. You got this. I have to get out of here. Maruna wasn't lying. The Devil's Snare seems to be recalling from the light. I'll try to hold it off with Lumos while I call for help. Okay. Escape the Devil's Snare. Yeah, all right. Let's do this. Whew, here we go. Five stars to pass. We got full energy, so we, sh we should be good. Fend off. Fend it off. Oh, my God. It uses 12 energy? Okay. Lumos. Use it off. Use all your power to escape! Did we do it? It worked! Yes! Oh, look at that! Pyong, pyong, pyong. Oh, it's not Star Wars. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no! There's so many of them! Okay, we got more on us. Another 12! Kick, 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 kick! Keep on kicking! And... Lumos! Nice! Okay, come on, use that. That's gotta get it off me! Lumos! Pyong! <laughs> Look at him. He's, he's pretty scared, though. I've got to get out of here. All right. Well, that's it. Help someone, please. Oh, shoot. Get tug and vine. Oh, oh, yo, we've hit the paywall. Every f we're out of energy. Either wait four minutes or buy 30. I can't believe we've actually hit a paywall this early. Oh, my God. Okay. Well. I guess I've got to pay to get out of this situation. That is really dirty. You know what? I'm not a fan of that at all. I would have had to either waited 40 minutes or whatever it was and just sat here and done nothing. Like, I really don't like that. So uh, I now understand. Thank God uh, I understand what everyone was moaning about because, yo, that's not right. I had to buy $10 worth of gems to get out of this situation. Well, I, I bought $10 just in case it happened again. Yo, oh, that's cheeky. I don't... I, I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I hope that uh, I'm gonna send this video off to them so that they can see how unhappy I am, whoever made this game. Like the video again, show support that you don't like what I had to do just then. Okay, right, we've escaped. <clears throat> What's going on in there? Please be Snape. Out of the way! Oh my god, it's Hagrid! He looks different. Gulping gargoyles! <laughs> Slytherin! 
Get away from that devil snare. You're scaring it. I'm scaring it. Let's get you out of here. All right, thanks, Hagrid. You're my, you're my one true savior. You saved my life. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Rubius Hagrid, at your service. I'm the keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I guess that's kind of his voice. <laughs> I'm Master Of. Ah, yeah, you're the one everyone's been talking about. Maybe trouble really does run in your family. How'd you end up here, Master? A first year Slytherin named Marula Snide locked me inside. We're, we're like telling everybody. She did? What are you gonna do to her? Temple Dumbledore, tell my classmates or get revenge. I would get revenge. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to make her pay for trying to kill me. She did just try to murder me. So remember that. I can't blame you for feeling that way, but revenge rarely works out well for anybody. You might want to reconsider. No, I'm not reconsidering, bro. I'm going for it. Uh, take some time to think, Master. I don't want you to be doing something you'll regret. You might want to go do something about those robes. That devil snare got you good. Thanks, Hagrid. Hopefully, I'll see you again. I hope so, too. You certainly will, Master. I better get back to your common room. All right, sweet. So, we, di we didn't actually get the slugs, did we? Because there were no slugs to get. So, yeah, that sucks. Let's go into uh, our common room and report to Felix then, shall we? And see what... See what Felix has to say. I bet you I'm going to get a whooping because, yeah. Oh, man. I so should have brought um, my guy with me, Rowan. Yo, he could have helped. Damn. But hell, what happened to your robes? <laughs> I got snared by a devil snare. How did that happen with Professor Snape? It was a trick. Marula uh, Snide faked the note and trapped me in there. What is it with you and that girl? I think she's threatened by me. And I think she hates that I'm the only first year who has stood up for her. I secretly think she loves me. I'm just gonna say it. And I think we have a thing for her too, because we're wanting revenge, and you know, it's, you know, it's one of those, like, love-hate relationships, so. And I take it once again, you don't have any proof? I have the fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Mm. Well, you can't go around the castle dressed like that. Professor Snape will have a fit. People already look at your, you look like you're mad because of your brother. Go and change into fresh roads. Or better yet, pick something to wear outside class hours. Ooh, we get to go shopping. Let's go shopping. Oh, it's not really shopping. Okay. Let's see then. Let's get us some new stuff, shall we? Ooh. Ooh, okay. So you have to unlock these later on. So you have to pay... Oh my god, everything is so expensive. Like, everything is so, so expensive. A hundred gems for that tatty thing? I'm just gonna go in that. Thanks. I'm fine. My white t-shirt. Yo, I'm, I'm repping the... Actually, we have got enough for... Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Like, do I go for it? No, I don't, I don't think I should. Oh, dude, that's sick. Look at that. I would look such a gangster. Everyone would be like, Oh, he's so fine. But then I wouldn't have enough gems in case I get caught. Yo, I'm just gonna stick with uh, completely standard for now. And then we might, like, we might later on, maybe in the next episode, guys. If you want me to do another episode, let me know. Uh, and we can, uh, we can buy some new stuff. We can get ourselves looking fresh, you know? <laughs> like all the rappers are. So cool looking. Wow, much better. <laughs> yeah, it's not that much better, is it? Uh, thanks, but I'm mainly just happy to be alive. Well, you better hurry to first flying class before you're expelled. Yes. See if you can find a way to earn back the house points. Yo, I'm psyched for this. Report to Felix. Done. Uh, let's go get on a broom, baby. So I think I've seen people complain at, like, you get maybe caught up in the Whomping Willow at some stage. Uh, attend first class. Cool. So I don't know about the Devil Snare bit, though, because that, that kind of annoyed me. We were just kind of stuck at that point. All right, training grounds. Yo, look at everybody here. Oh, my God. Let's go. Hello, Madam Hooch. Welcome to uh, welcome to your first flying class. I'll be your instructor, Madam Hooch. I can't do her voice. Uh, you'll begin to, by observing before learning to summon your broom in your next flying class. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone, step up to the left side of your broom and say... Uh, well, no, that's just in the phone. I've been dreading this class all summer. Ben! You're st oh my god, look at your pink face too. You actually look proper scared. You afraid of heights? Falling from heights mostly. <laughs> I told you I come from a muddle muggle family. It's really not that terrifying though. Believe it or not, I've never flown on a broom either. My mum was pretty strict about us using magic outside of school. I don't think I can do it. Oh, I can't tell him yes you can. I'm sorry, Ben. 
I, I can't give you that love. I'll go first. I'll, I'll show you what to do. You aren't afraid of falling? Nah. I'm more afraid of falling. Mm. Oh, okay. Even you don't have anything to fear from today's lesson, Mr. Copper. You'll only be observing today. All right. Madam Hooch, let's, um, let's do it then, shall I? I'm going to get two stars. I'm going to absolutely own uh, flying my broom. Listen up, everybody. I'm going to demonstrate the proper broomstick technicalities. All right. Oh, sick. Woohoo! Look at her go. Discuss hair? Really? And then let's listen to this crybaby over here. So do we just, like, watch her fly? Discuss insects. These have nothing to do, Wanda. These have nothing to do with flying a broom. Lock eyes. Oh. Madam Hooch, locking eyes. Sounds kind of weird. Sounds, sounds like I have a thing for Madam Hooch. Choose your award. I'm going to go with these love hearts. Empathy. Oh, we could have done that thing now with what's his face. You'll likely take a painful tumble if you lose focus for even a second. Pay attention to me. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. What? What? Needs improvement. No, I wasn't done. No, I didn't even see. You didn't tell me that I had to do anything. I'm not happy with my results. I want to go back. Listen up, boys and girls. I'm going to explain several important bits of information to you. Oh, I'm not happy with how I did there. Okay. Listen. Wanda, wanda, wanda. Listen, listen. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Discuss care. Watch and watch. That should be enough. Am I right? Booyah! We got both stars. Uh, I'm going to go with defense. Now we've got two, two, two. Uh, which of these is not a type of broom? The Nimbus Fireball or Okami? It's... Who's been to school before? Who's been to Hogwarts? We all know Okami isn't a broom. Brilliant. All right, but I missed that tap thing she wanted me to do. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that. What, what's, what's the black screen about? Oh, there we go. That took, that took forever. All right, cool. Collect. And uh, we're all done there. Did you like my work, Madam Hooch? I suppose I don't have to worry about falling if I never actually fly. Yeah, good one, Ben. You just need to get used to the idea of flying. I'm sure Rowan has some books about flying. Mm. I do like reading books. Hardly ever anyone ever falls to their death while reading books. Yeah, that is true. I've been meaning to talk to Rowan anyway. We have, uh, we can have a rough go at it so far, and I think it takes he takes it harder than me. You should ask him to play Gobstones. Ooh, I'm afraid of getting sprayed. Yo, this guy is like afraid of everything all right well flying class is done oh i see that girl just got hit in the face when she was trying to do up oh that's what's that uh snide that's that's snide over there okay cool let's uh let's go back then shall we uh why is that got a thing on it summon broom is ready oh my god i'm so gonna try it let's try summon a broom summon broom shall i do it yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna try and do it okay here we go Broom care and maintenance. Welcome back to flying class. After observing your first lesson, I will now teach you how to summon your broom. Before you can summon your broom, however, you need to learn how to maintain it. Okay. So we've got to clean a broom. Oh my god, we're actually complaining a broom. Oh my god. Okay, let's watch you do that, Rowan. I'm going to insult some people. Why am I insulting people? Oh, her. I'm going to overhear you. I'm going to listen to Rowan a little bit. I'm going to run out of energy. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to buy another 30. Yeah, baby. Okay, this time, if it asks me to do something, I'm going to focus. I'm going to do it because it's going to ask me to tap or something, isn't it? All right, what should we take out of this? I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take the heart again. Okay, ready? Apply polish. Let's go. That looks like a really weird image. Oh, brilliant. We did it! Oh, ah, yes, yes. Just polishing my broom. Wow, what a game. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, though. I am enjoying it. I don't know why. It's a bit of a weird one. Well done, Ov! You did it. 
Okay, let's keep going because we got loads of energy. Prepare to summon your broom. All right, Madam Hooch. It's time to practice summoning your broom. Step up, hold out uh, your right hand, and say up. Up. See, Harry Potter did it first time. And I, I, I haven't done it first time. So I'm not as good as Harry Potter. That's what this game is trying to tell me. Reflect on it, of Reflect on that broom skill. Oh, yo! Oh! That got so high. That got so high. Keep trying, bro. Keep trying. That's got to be enough. So close. Glare. <laughs> I love how much we hate this girl. Yes! All right, Ov, let's do this. I'm going to take some more of that. Lovely compassion stuff. Ready? You ready to see this? Summon your broom off. Up. Woo! Brilliant! Oh, I'm not actually even holding it in my hand. But I did it! I actually summoned a broom. I can do it myself now. And we got plus one energy. Nice. I actually might just buy, like, loads of plus energy things. And we got our courage leveled up too. Yo, sweet. Look, this is now 25. Uh, Horde of energy. Oh, so you can buy... You could just buy a load of energy if you wanted to. I should probably do that before, like, each episode, just so that we have a ton of energy. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Uh, cool. All right, let's go back and speak to Rowan quickly. What does he want down in the courtyard? He wants to play a game? Was it gobble something? Oh, yeah, cor the courtyard looks really pretty. Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I'm still in my weird clothes. Rowan's looking sweet in his green Slytherin outfit. Thanks for inviting me, Rowan. After everything with Marula and Snape, I could use a break. Hogwarts shouldn't be about bullies. And barely escaping death. Oops. Wait until you play Gobstones. I play it on the farm all the time. Mostly because I'm not strong enough to help with the actual farming. I never thought he was, to be fair. Uh, it'll be fun to play with another person for once. <laughs> He's never played with somebody else. Of course, it's nice having a friend who understands me and can help explain everything about Hogwarts. I wish it ex could explain why Marula is such a bully. I've been researching her family to try and understand why she acts the way she does. Let's just relax and you can tell me what you found out, Marula, while we play. Good shout off. Are we stand up? Brilliant! Gobstones is the finest skill testing manual dexterity game in the world. It's a bit like Muggle Game Marbles, except that every time a point is scored, the loser gets sprayed in the face. Sprayed with what? No one knows, but it smells awful. What? Where does the spray come from? Alright. If you do well in this interaction, you'll strengthen your friendship with this person. Alright, sweet. Okay. <clears throat> Hogwarts is more frightening than I thought it would be. Don't worry, Rowan. Everything will be okay. So this is Gobstones. The only time I ever lose is when I get distracted. Oh, shoot. I need to distract him then. Uh, the best way to beat Roan is by distracting him. I'd better concentrate. Did you hear something? What are your favorite books? I think talking about books would be quite good. Oh, yes, it was the right answer. All right, nice. Cool, we got some, we got some points for that too. Because he did say he liked books. Good play, Master. I could have counted if it, I wasn't so distracted. <laughs> Thanks, Rowan. I think I'm starting to understand gobstones. I'm not, but still. The more distracting your choice is, the more you fill your diamond. How do you like gobstones? Shh, I'm trying to focus. I think it's distracting. Let's talk about Wandwood. Well, obviously, that's going to be the more distracting thing, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah! Ooh, yeah! All right. Five turns left. We're absolutely pooning this guy. I don't really understand the game, though. Then again, I, I don't think I've ever just played marbles before, being a muggle. Looks like my strategy is working. It sure is, Of. Let's join the Gobblestone Club, or Gobblestone Club. Let's discuss study habits. Let's bunk off school. Let's get distracted instead. Well, let's discuss... What? How? How did that not distract him? I thought we were talking about stuff. Oh, shoot. I can't believe you might win. Snape is a vampire. The library burned down. What's that supposed to mean? Snape is a vampire! Yeah, okay, that worked. The library... Oh, I didn't think the library would be the strongest one out of those, to be totally honest. 
But still, I think that's pretty funny. You beat me, master! Pretty impressive for your first time playing. I can't wait to see this guy get sprayed. What's he getting sprayed by? I am I not gonna <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna see him getting sprayed, am I? I didn't even see him get sprayed! I feel cheated! Some people think Gobstone isn't cool, but I've always considered it to be the thinking wizard's Quidditch. Really? Thanks for playing. Alright, you're welcome. We became friends pretty quickly. Most people will think I'm either a useless weakling or an awkward nerd. But you're weird like me. Please. I'm not. I play video games. So, no, I'm not. No offense. I take it as a compliment. Don't take that as a compliment of... Oh, shoot! Here she comes. Isn't this precious? Hello, Ov. You are unfortunately looking well after wrestling with the devil snare. I don't know if I should do voices like that, but let me know. Shall I yes or no? While you were off playing with the plants, I've been doing a little research about your brother. Why don't you just leave me alone? Because you're a danger to Hogwarts, just like him. And none of us will be safe until you're gone. <laughs> what are you talking about, Marula? <laughs> Ov's brother didn't just get expelled for endangering the entire school in search of some imaginary vaults. He immediately went missing, and the next time he was seen, he was working for Voldemort. Oh. You can't say that! You have to call him he who shall not be named! I say what I want. She's so sassy. You lying about my brother! <laughs> have anything to do with he who shall not be named? Say Voldemort, Ov, come on. No wonder the professors were talking about you before the feast. They're wondering if you work for the Dark Lord too. Expose her secrets. Ignore her. Or reason with her. Expose. I'm a YouTuber. I'm exposing. I don't know why you'd ever bring up he who should not be named given your family's a history. Oh, you don't know anything about me. Yes, I do. Thanks, Rowan's research. <laughs> I know your parents are locked up in Azkaban for being loyal to he who should not be named in the Wizarding War. I finally understand why you're always so angry. But Woo! Ov just came in with the biggest drop mic ever. He should just walk away now. Why don't you just drop out of Hogwarts? Save Slytherin and your little friend here the embarrassment of being associated with you. You're just afraid that I'll be better than you. Afraid? I'll duel you. Oh my god. Do I walk away? Oh, this is such a tough call! Walk away, off. You aren't worthy of my time, Marula. Keep your nonsense to yourself. Yo, Ov. Oh, she got mad too. Flippando! Don't you do that to me. Oh, it's such a douche spell. Why? Just like kicking me on the floor? Learn a few more spells, off. Maybe next time you'll put up a fight. Dude, she's gonna get destroyed with my wand. Oh. Thanks for helping, Rowan. <laughs> I can't help. <laughs> my ruler is never gonna leave us alone. Not unless I learn more spells and find something, uh, someone who can teach me how to duel. Oh, snap. Well, you know what the next episode's gonna be. Ba -dum -bum -bum. We're gonna be having a duel. That's gonna be pretty safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, my friends, I will see you soon. Peace out.